Okay, you guys. Welcome back. We're jumping in immediately where we left off. This will be part two and hopefully the final part. So if it's a little bit longer than the first one, so be it. But, um... Keep in mind, honestly, I think compared to Genshin, Star Rail is going to be one of the more choppier series that I upload. Um, whether it's through streaming or just recording, I, I do think I'm going to be jumping from place to place. But let's get right into it. Huh? <laughs> You're pretty familiar with this place. That he is. Yep, it's the Alchemy Commission. No wonder we were getting those military broadcasts on the way over. Something about the Cloud Knights gathering here, right? They're probably coming to fix the Stellaron problem. It's been such a long journey, but now we're finally gonna meet some Cloud Knights. I'll be back with my unit. Oh yeah, you've been separated for a while now. I didn't lie to you, right? I told you I'd bring you somewhere safe, and then <laughs> I did. Though He's just done. did take a bit of a detour. Before I arrived in Starskiff Haven, I had a diviner read my fortune for the journey ahead. He told me not to be concerned with the destination, but to seize my chances and travel with the current to reap the greatest harvest. I see. Meaning? Yeah. <laughs> Meaning? Thank you, Miss Sushan. Okay, hey, th uh, yeah. nice of you. You could have led with that. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna go report to the nearest captain. You guys can hang around here, but don't run off too far. There will be cloud knights coming to escort you back soon. Uh, bye for now. Okay, are we really separating here? I don't want to. We, we better stay as a unit. The cloud knights invited us to go with them. Your homeland's got some really big uh, crucibles. God, our messages just don't send. Sometimes they do, and then other times they don't. The messages never get sent. Mm -hmm. I wonder what's happening with those three. The Cloud Knights seem to be gathering for the Stellaron disaster. But why did Kafka want us to come here? What happened to them? And what happened to Blade? I've delayed for too long. I need more information. Okay, it's time for us to ask around then. Oh yeah, no, we literally were just here. I wonder how far but oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, kitty cat. Wanted to say hi to the camera. Oh. She still does. But no, I wonder how far behind uh, he is then, right? Like, time-wise. I know it seems like we've been at the- we, we went through that stuff with Tingy maybe. In reality, how far is that? Should I talk to Su Shang real quick? I think she's just gonna, in, in, uh, you know, bring us I'm up to sorry. date. I'm sorry, I have to catch up to my friends. Oh. Thank you for looking out for me on this journey. We're just splitting up? Oh, this feels like a terrible idea. I, I don't, I don't agree with this course of action. What? What's happening? What a huge cauldron. This Orient cauldron is driven by the cloud hymn magic of our people, the Vidyadara. It drinks the water of the ancient sea like a whale swallows the tide and refines it into medicinal pellets. Uh. Oh, is it like memories coming back, or or is it like voices? Cause he's getting close to that shit, right? Is that it? Is this place just heavily filled with it, or is it genuinely more? Oh, I am just so worried. I don't. Okay. 
We don't we don't have time for questions. I, I, as much as I would love to keep asking them. Figures? All the elixir crucibles that the Vidyatara helped to construct contain cloud him magic. You should take this chance to learn more, young master. Uh huh. But I don't need any sort of device to help me command water. What more is there to learn? You are indeed the chosen one, with endless potential. Yet cloud him magic is just the beginning. Of Vidyadara Mirajako? Have these shadows of the past yet to disperse? Okay, yeah, so it's just showing other uh, past. These memories. Mm. No. They have nothing to do with me anymore. Oh, this must fucking suck. Why, why do we have to get split up? I hate when our group gets split up. in the Shenzhou. I'm no longer one of the Scions of Permanence. <laughs> I doubt I will be here to see you take charge. No need to feel aggrieved. Did the Adara go through cycles of life and death, existing forever in this world? By the time you are the High Elder, my hatching rebirth will be complete, and I will be a child once again. Please, take it's, care of It's so... This itself is so sad, though. Just like the... It's like, I'll be a child again, just going. Like, I won't be there. But, you know, don't worry. Just, you know... I, I don't know. This, this cycle itself, while in a way it's like constant rebirth, it, it, it just doesn't sound great. Power. It's you. You've returned, High Elder. Wait, wait. Do you think that, in a way, they're minorly, um conscious of uh him returning here like uh sensing him even if it's a past echo like a faint memory something terrible is happening in scale gorge water Deep. please don't go any further yeah they're warning him Your Your en i'm uh, i'm sorry i cannot linger here my friends have left i must find them you didn't heed us then and won't heed us now. Oh. As strong as you always were, it seems you already made your decision. There is a vessel bound for Scale Gorge Water Steep located ahead. That must suck. Oh, cutscene. This place would be so pretty if it wasn't just so ridden in the, the thought of chaos and disaster. He's oh! Here. Running straight into Kafka and Blade. Hmm. Right on time. That feeling, Kafka, it's welling up within me. That feeling. It's... Well, don't resist. Let the Mara strike you. You're here. <laughs> it's time to pay the price! It's time! Oh, what price? You what... think changing mm. form will help you escape? Escape? I've told you and that woman many times. I am Don Hung. I have nothing to do with your past. Don Hung. <laughs> you think another name and face can blot out the sin of your past? You. You didn't even experience death. I will force this suffering upon you. Don Hung, you will know the pain of death. 
<laughs> Not on my watch. Oh, Young Ching. You're not murdering anyone today, fugitive. You're coming with me. Ooh, buddy, I'm sorry. I don't think you should, uh, be here either, honestly. Actually, wait, I had a moment of happiness, but I'm now I'm actually concerned for you. Ching Yuan's lapdog. <laughs> Did the general not teach you to choose your battles wisely? Hey, move back. Things are about to... Huh? You... You look so... familiar. Look out! Oh! <laughs> oh, <dying>. no! <laughs> Your true self revealed. Stop! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! You! <laughs> I have news for you, boy. Behind you is none other than the traitor of the Sienjo. A criminal forever banished. From the Vidyadara. Imbibe her lune. You really thought the Stellaron hunters were the only ones to infiltrate the Sienjo? Oh no. In that case, I'll bring both of you to justice. Oh no, 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 no. Buddy, no. What what did what was his crime, by the way? First it was the Stellaron hunters. Now an exiled criminal has infiltrated the Sienja. You don't know the full story, dude. I have no interest in stoking conflict. I came to ensure the safety of my friends. Save your excuses for the shackling prison. Yeah, excuses. Oh, I I'm was so going. happy he was here. Now I'm not. Do not be afraid. <laughs> Better, but I'm afraid you won't be seeing your friends. They're caught in their own bitter struggle. Silence. No. You're not getting away either. Is that so? Let's heat things up then. Kafka. Lady, listen to me. Unleash the Mara. Unleash the Mara? So it begins. Oh. A veil to send you. <clears throat> Too little. Surrender! I attack these blades this I don't it, it's so confusing because I we're not on either of their sides we're caught up in this because of the What's history wrong? and all that afraid to hurt the boy I know you're not punish evil <laughs> I wonder if the others are okay oh I appreciate you thinking quick. about us, but you need to worry about yourself here. I was trying to aim for the blade. Why did you? Don't feel my blade. You two just won't give up. I only have one choice. Oh, that looks so cool. Did she teach you? Oh! Then you deserve no mercy. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, he's not in a forgiving mood. Can't delay any longer. I didn't wish to harm anyone. I know. But there's no other way. Forgive me. Oh, this is rather unfortunate. Heaven's search. 
I hate this. No. I fail. This isn't over. Mm, buddy, for your own sake, you need to back I hope off. You listen to me. Stop. Oh. What was that? Well, Blady, are you satisfied? <sighs> that doesn't sound like it. <sighs> what did you do? I'm just clearing the stage for the grand entrance. Can't have you three misbehaving in front of the Lawfu's hotshot general. Yeah, but how did you do that? <laughs> Ching Yuan. Uh, general! What's about to happen? Many years have passed since the two of you departed the Sienjo. And yet the circumstances of your return appear to be equally unhappy. If you still thought of me as a friend, you should have forewarned me. This wasn't exactly the most properly planned out reasoning. My task is complete. Hmm, that it is. Thank you for assisting the Sienjo in this small matter. Take this person away. I will pretend I didn't see anything this time. General, I... Now is not the time. Who? It has been a long time. Old friend. I'm not him. Hmm. I'm sorry. You cannot leave yet. Your Astral Express friends are waiting for you in Scale Gorge Waterscape. Shall we go and see them together? If we're allowed to go, I why not? Okay, that, that ended rather peacefully. But that could have gotten so depths, much worse. A realm of singular beauty. Sailgorge Waterscape is the same as when I last laid eyes on it. And here we stand so different from one another. The flesh of long life species may be immortal, but the constant of heaven and earth eludes them. You know the Vidyadara hatching rebirth cycle, General. The waters of the ancient sea have cleansed Dan Feng of his past sin. The person that once stood here alongside you is no more. I am Dan Hung. Whether Dan Feng was hero or villain has nothing to do with me. I bore his punishment, accepted my eternal banishment without complaint. Do not let his shadow cloud your estimation of me, General. What was his past, like... What was... What did he do that bore such a punishment, though? <sighs> Raising old nets only darkens the water. An exercise in unhappiness. Perhaps it is your visage, the horns on your head, or the unmistakable air of the High Elder that makes the separation nigh impossible for me. I already told you, I... You did. But to what effect? Mm. If words alone were enough to change the heart, this world would be without quarrel. If you wish to rid me of the illusion of Don Feng, you must do something for me. Before I can let Don Feng die and revoke your banishment edict, I need him to do me one final favor. 
I can guarantee you that when it is done, you will no longer walk in anyone's shadow aboard the Law Fu. I may not be capable of the things that Dan Feng was capable of. You must do it, or my promise will count for naught. If you wish to blame someone, blame your previous incarnation. Terrible sin, Have yeah. Have you not committed that terrible sin? Had the power of dragon transmutation been passed on intact? I would have no need to compel you. It, it, you see, it's just shitty. It's your past, you know, self. But you, it, it's still you in their eyes. It is as I said. Here we stand so different from one another. Don Fung is no more. Now, there is only Don Hung. But I, I am the general of the Lo Fu. There are things that I wish I did not have to do. And yet I must. <laughs> Let us talk of happier tidings. The friends you made on the Express are here. Do you wish to see them? That was my whole purpose of being here. You... you brought them here? Yep. <laughs> yes. They are waiting in the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. Go. Oh, I shouldn't have cut that off. I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of abundance. The Stellaron Hunters. And the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the antimatter legion. The hunt is far from over. Yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. There's nothing I'm missing? I don't think so. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. Yeah, there's something bigger behind this that we don't know about yet. Can I talk? I can't talk to them. Is complete. Still, I... Okay, is it going to be more and more like that? Do you know something? When Don Fong committed his great crime, the Ten Lords Commission advocated strongly for him to be destroyed. The Vidyadra, on the other hand, were split evenly in their favor and disfavor of the motion. <laughs> The dragon transmutation inheritance was not intact after all. Damn. The senior Vidyadra hated you, yet did not dare to kill you. The Vidyadra were under great pressure. In order to placate the Ten Lords and Skyfaring Commissions, they performed an exuviation charm on Don Fong against his will. Still, they ensured that the charm contained a flaw thinking that this would fool the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> the senior Vidyadara were sure of their scheme. But you cannot hide fire with paper. Yeah, no, they're probably thorough with that. It'd be very hard to hide it. Can I just talk to one more? As recorded in the ancient texts, this body of water was brought by my people from our homeworld. It formed part of the roiling deep. It is as pure here as it was there. Our dragon ancestors nurtured us with the water of life and bestowed us with the permanence of the Vidyadara. So is this almost like legit his, in a way, people? Like he was the high, like, ranking one. Waters of the ancient sea, cleanse me. Waters 
of the ancient sea. Protect me. This world's good karma is settled. This life's misfortune is erased. Mm. Oh, everyone's here! Look, your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go! Oh, okay, we're just joining in? Okay. We got this. Oh, you, of course Damn you're locking on them. March, no. Cloudbearing dragon. Rise! Holy shit, Jesus. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> A foregone conclusion. My turn. Uh, should I put the shield on myself anyway? Like, March? Yeah, Stay I'm going right to. there while I give you a present! Okay. Heaven search. I'm okay with taking some damage, it's okay. Celestial dragon. Quick! This is our chance. Conflict is pitiless. I told you I could fight. Um, I want to fight hit this one. This. That one should die then. You can't run. Perfect, perfect. Heaven search. I think I can do this and maybe get my ult. Yes. Gives me my ult. are made to be broken. I don't think this fight is really losable, but I'm still wanting to play cautious here. Because I'm gonna put defense on him. How can we lose? Then we're just gonna <laughs> ult here. Time for the radiant spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy. Okay, it's going for March, but her shield should stay intact. Try that again. And then we're gonna just pop her ult too. Cause yeah, um, we're gonna need Check out this awesome to break that move. shield, which should be soon. <laughs> Search. Like right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Celestial dragon. Break. This is our chance. Batter up. Yeah, I think we got this. <laughs> My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. Heaven search. Only one of us is in protective, but it's okay. Dragon. Rise. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Xingyuan, where have you been? <laughs> Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. <laughs> we are indebted to you and your forces. The seats of divine foresight relate the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the arbor to disseminate the power of the plague's author and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Uh huh? I is that. Don Hung? You... you are Don Hung, right? <laughs> What's with the horns? It's a long story, March. <sighs> it's me. Yeah, you've been keeping everything private, so... So, you do have secret strength. I mean, yeah, in a way, March, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the La Foule, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, mm -hmm. she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The La Fu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. I don't understand. Like... It's so difficult to place how I should think of Kafka. And in, in, in a way, she's going about things and she's talking about, you know, it's all as... Oh, the name's slipping me right now. But yeah, as he as he uh, said and all that. And she doesn't seem to really mean us harm whatsoever. But this too, to prove that we our sincerity about wanting to help. And we're going to help, you know. You don't need to, you know. However. You know. As Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Law Fu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you for your strength at this critical moment. Hey, you know, even if the crisis we came here on to the help. Law Fu mm -hmm. had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Nice one, Welp. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, enemies, and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed whether our destination lies before us or behind us the decision is ours to make here as on the express every vote counts all in don hung We're, no, we, we're all doing this together. I'm so scared. Do it together. Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they <laughs> arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? What is it you want us to go do? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? <laughs> yeah, we still don't know much, huh? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the Plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the La Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge waterscape delve and contain the arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadara statue. Oh, it looks so much like <laughs> Don Hong. I wonder if... Yeah, March, are you putting it together? The statue... The music! Is that...
I'm sorry, I had to turn it up on my headphones. Don Hung's brother? Oh my god, March, no! March, you're so close! <laughs> I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago. Yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Lo Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. The music, though. I, I so want to continue, but I think what I'm going to do is talk to everybody and we're going to call it here, uh, just because it's ridiculously early in the morning and I'm tired, and I want to be at full energy when going through all of this. Um, I should be... YouTube, uh, you'll, you'll be seeing uh, this while I end up streaming uh, a longer episode of this, probably, hopefully, um, uh, later today or tomorrow, uh, in well, my for recording a second, day. I thought you'd annoyed the general. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to <laughs> kidnap you, and it turns out the two of you are old buddies. In a sense, they're old buddies. And no, March, I'm with you. So... What made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? He was worried about us. Yeah, I was worried for your safety. Aw, how sweet. But Mr. Yang and I have been holding our own. We're pretty much Sienjo heroes at this point. Hey, I still appreciate his concern. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. Mm-hmm. I'm so glad we're back here. Should I talk to them, too? I'm gonna go talk to Welts, and then, uh... I'm gonna talk to Stell over there. I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. Mm-hmm. They may have banished you, but the Lawfu is still your home. Thanks for all your help along the way. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. And then we'll talk to the last two um, at the start, hopefully, of the next episode, if I remember. Naoto looks at you as you both become silent. <laughs> Is there nothing you'd like to ask? She doesn't want to speak. Nobody can get her to open up. It's true. They These two were both the more quiet... Like, obviously, Stell has some more reasons because doesn't really remember anything. Only, like, w kind of brief moments of waking up, in a sense. So, yeah. Oh, the rain. Old friends meet yet again. Mm, that's so sad. But, um, no... I'm, again, ending it here. It's on the spot. I was going to keep going, but I do think I'm going to call it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on when all this was going out. I know I'm beyond late, but, you know. Let's, uh, you know, cheers to the continuation of the journey later on. But until then, see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>